The fourth thing we are going to cover in object-oriented PHP is what is known as abstract classes. Abstract classes can be viewed as templates for our classes. They are not immediately instanti instantiable. You cannot create objects from abstract classes, but you can extend from them. To give you an example, let's go back to our animal class from our last video where we created a sound. And in the animal class, we didn't add any sound. In our dog class, we had a public function sound and we returned wolf. And then we also had a cat class that extends the uh, animal class. And the function sound of a, of a cat is meow, right? So we just did meow. But in an animal, uh, we're not using any sort of sound. There is no sound, right? So if we were to go down here and we said new dog, and then we did sound, and then we did new cat, and we did sound, and then we did new animal, and we did sound, and we ver dumped all of these just like this. And we opened up our terminal, we ran this, we'll get wolf, we'll get meow, and we'll get null. Well, animal's a little too generic to actually specify a specific sound. It's, it's not specific enough. An animal could be anything. I mean, we could put, we could put rar, right? We could put, uh, I don't know, gulp for a fish. We could put wolf we could put meow we could put bark we could put anything but at the end of the day when we extend the animal class we're only looking to add actual behavior from the animal on the child classes we want to define how many legs a dog has for example or maybe we want to extend an animal class or a mammal class from animal and then we can define four legs breathes oxygen whatever the point with this example is that the animal class is never going to return a specific sound, right? So what we can do is this. We can do abstract. And what does this abstract keyword do in front of a class? Well, it says, hey, air out. We're not allowed to instantiate that. We cannot create an animal object from the animal class. And just to give you an idea, We'll set it to a variable and we'll do this. Cannot instantiate abject, abstract class animal. All abstract classes are saying or defining or explicitly demanding based on this abstract keyword is that this is just a template that child classes such as dog or cat can extend from. You cannot directly create an object from the animal class. It will air out on us. It won't work. You know, if we try it, fatal error, uncaught error, cannot instantiate abstract class animal. An abstract class is simply a template or a class that we can only extend from. We cannot directly instantiate or create an object from. If we try to, it will air out. Abstract classes are intended to be abstract, too general to actually be useful in a real life scenario. So I don't reach for abstract classes very often. I really don't. Um, again, I prefer something like an interface, which we'll get into in the next tutorial. But again, this is abstract classes. This is their purpose. Abstract classes are simply templates. Templates that are non-instantiable. You cannot create an object from an abstract class. It won't let us. So guys, that is abstract classes in a nutshell. Not too much to go into this video, but still pretty cool to know, to understand, if for nothing else, to kind of look at it and be like, oh, hey, you know, what's going on there? Um, and it just kind of requires that we have this functionality when a child extends from it. And 
it is not directly able to become an object within itself. You cannot instantiate a new animal object from an abstract animal class. So that is abstract classes in a nutshell. So if this was uh, useful or beneficial in any way, like and subscribe. And in the next tutorial, we will get on to interfaces and how interfaces act as contracts enforcing behavior upon a class that implements the given contract or interface. So thanks again, guys. This is Zachary Warren, Clean Code Studio, Clean Code, Clean Life. And this is our object-oriented PHP tutorial. Separate.